Hi, everyone. The other day, I was organizing my bathroom and underneath the sink, putting things away. So I was bending down and standing up, bending down and standing up, bending down and standing up numerous times. And I realized, oh, it feels so marvelous to have the strength and the flexibilities of my knees. So I thought, wouldn't it be nice to share with you a couple of simple exercises that will bring strength to your thighs and more stability to your knees. As you get older, keeping your thighs and knees strong and flexible is really essential for not only mobility, but stability and helping with our health and well-being overall. Very, very important. So I would just like to remind you is that, you know, sometimes the knees can be really sensitive. So honor where you're at and only go to where you feel it's comfort. If you have any discomfort, stop and analyze, well, am I pushing too much or am I okay and just need to move a little bit more? Okay, so promise me. Okay, <laughs> okay. All right, let's begin. Okay, so sitting nice and tall in your chair, and you might even want to put a pillow behind your back, and you can place your hands either on your thighs or supporting by holding the chair. This is a nice flow exercise, so it's a lifting up and down with the breath, and when you lift up the leg, flex the foot, and point the toe to the ceiling. So it's very, it's a, it's a nice easy one, and if it feels like I just want to start here, just to warm up, it's totally up to you because you're listening to your body and you're not pushing. Definitely, we don't want to push because then we don't want to do it anymore. And we want to do it. <laughs> we want to have that ability. So if it feels comfortable, just lift up, press the heel towards the wall and the toe goes towards the ceiling. The shoulder blades are relaxed and down the back. Nice. Okay. Crown of the head to the ceiling and we feel supported. Now let's hold the leg. Let's take a leg up, press the heel towards the, the wall. The toe goes to the ceiling. Our breath is nice and easy. And then exhaling down. And you can hold up for five seconds where five, four, three, two, one, and then release. You can do this anywhere from four to six to 10 times, whatever feels like I can handle this and it feels really good. Inhaling up, bring the foot up, flexing that foot, activating the thigh, feels marvelous. Definitely, you know, you're using the thigh. Great. And inhaling up, relaxing the shoulders, nice even breath, nice and tall. One, two, three, four, five, and down. You can do it for 10 seconds. You can do it for three seconds. You can do it for five seconds, whatever feels like. I'm gonna start here and then build up because over time you're going to feel, oh, it just feels so wonderful when you go for a walk or when you're going hiking or dancing or golfing <laughs> or shopping <laughs> or, or anything. You're just doing it your own pace, but you're nice and strong in the thighs. It just feels so great. And that helps with your knees, right? because we're building the muscle structures around, around the knees. Okay, maybe one more each side. And you're exhaling down, inhaling up. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Feeling marvelous, oh marvelous, too marvelous for words. La, 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 hey. Oh, your thighs are so happy that you're quitting. <laughs> And then just relax for a moment, shoulder blades down, you've got a nice, remember you're always breathing in through your nose and out through the nose in a very soft and light way. And if your breath is saying, oh, that's too much, then you need to pull back, make it nice and light and easy. Okay, check in. Mm. Feels great. So let's move to a standing position. Behind the chair, I'll move the chair a little bit forward here. And what we're going to do is stand tall, crown of the head to the ceiling, mm -hmm. pelvis is, is neutral, shoulder blades down the back so everything's relaxed, so you feel nice and enlivened right open through the belly. You can place the hands on the back of the chair. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the one foot back, I'm taking my left foot back, and scooch your foot forward 
to whatever you like, because what we're going to do is we're going to have a deep knee bend, but this knee, the front knee for this particular exercise, we're going to take the knee just straight down to the floor and back up. Or you can just do some pulses, a little pulse, but you come up onto your toe so you can come back and you can have your shoes on. But what I like about this is I get to actually stretch the, all the toe joints. And the knee is going over the second and third toe. And ideally it's staying as much as possible over the ankle. And you can come down ooh, as much as you like, keeping the pelvis parallel with the front, coming down and then coming back up. You can even take the knee down and hold it down there and hold it for a couple of seconds. Just wherever you can take it little, little place and take it down and going up and down at your own pace. You can even take it down and hold it down there. It's intense. <laughs> if you want to build your strength. Okay, back up. Let's do two more. And your breath is nice and easy. Remember, it's in through the nose and out through the nose. Come back up. One more. And back down. Ooh, that's really great. Oh, marvelous. And then standing still, taking your awareness into your attention, into the thigh, and noticing your breath. Is your breath going really fast? Remember, in through the nose and out through the nose, then there's better oxygenation. Mm -hmm. Bringing your breath back, bringing your heart rate back. Let's do the other side. Take the foot back, lift the heel off. Remember the heel, the um, front foot is the feet are, have been parallel. So you come down, only going as far down as feels comfy, especially for your knees because they can be really tender. And that knee goes over the second and third toes and as much as possible staying stable over the ankle. And just coming down, whatever. Doesn't that feel great? Or does it feel awful? <laughs> <laughs> Exhaling down, in through the nose, out through the nose. Mm -hmm. Yes, exhaling down, inhaling up. Notice are your shoulders coming up by your ears or are they staying nice and relaxed? So you can do this two times, three times, five times, 10 times. You can hold it, you can pulse it, you know, anything because you're whatever feels like, yeah, I'm getting a, I'm getting a workout. Yep, I'm strengthening. I mean, this is just pulsing. Pulsing is like really good. So you could do that or you can come down and you can hold it down there for a while and come back up. That's definitely a burner. Okay. <laughs> okay, standing nice and tall. Noticing what's happening with the breath. Bringing the heart rate back bringing the breath back nice, soft, light, and deep as much as possible. Pelvis is neutral. Everything kind of feels nice and energized. Okay, fantastic. Wow, that feels marvelous. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed these exercises and that your thighs and your knees are feeling enlivened. Okay. Bye for now, and we'll see you next week. Let me know how you feel. Bye.